hello guys so quickly in this video if you have actually starting out on trust wallet and on pancake swap then we'll be showing you how to make your first trade on pancake swap how to buy your first coin on pancake swap so if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel go ahead to do so now like and share our video if you have any question drop it in the comment section below go to the dap section of your trust wallet so once you're on the dap section scroll down and locate pancake swap so we are going to click on pancake swap now because the coin we'll be trading is actually a bsc token so once it loads up you see this uh, little warning here that says phishing warning please make sure you are visiting pancakeswap.finance check the url carefully so it's a normal check for you to do make sure that you type pancakeswap.finance directly if actually you are typing it yourself or you go through the process we just showed so the next thing to do is to click on connect wallet so you click on connect wallet if you have not actually used a pancake swap on trust wallet before you need to connect your wallet so since we are using trust wallet as our default wallet we'll click on trust wallet if you're using metamax we'll click on metamax so we'll probably we'll be making a video on how to use uh, metamax with uh, pancake swap so you click on go ahead and click on trust wallet so click on trust wallet and it connects to our wallet automatically okay so once it connects you notice that you have this interface and uh, all that so it's very easy to navigate it's very easy eventually we'll be making video on how to navigate the pancake swap interface just like we did for the trust wallet interface if you have not watched the video on how to navigate the trust wallet interface the link is up there just click it right now and watch it right away so we we'll go ahead to select the coin that we'll be funding from as well as the token that we are buying okay so if you are buying a token make sure that you already have the contract address of that token if you are on a project make sure you have the correct contract address of that particular token once a, a token contract address is released for a new project the probability of you having several fake contract address is very high so make sure you get the correct contract address of that particular project of that particular token from the telegram group or wherever you're getting it from so from this case i want to select my currency I already have the contract address saved on it so it says intimate so i'm going to import it immediately so there's this warning anyone can create a bep20 token on bsc with any name including creating fake versions of existing tokens and tokens that claim to represent projects that do not have a token so if you purchase an arbitrary token you may be unable to sell back so you have to be sure of the token you are purchasing make your diligent research before buying any coin at all so i understand and i want to go ahead to import so what i actually want to do is i already have this intimate uh, token and i have 244,117 pieces of it now i want to swap it for another coin so somehow this project is not actually uh, giving me the desired result i've not gotten the profit that i needed so i want to swap to a project that i've made research on and will give me a better result in future so i want to swap this intimate it with a new token instead of bnb so i'm going to move it up by clicking this button here okay it switches it you notice it has been switched i select the new token i want to swap with i've already saved the contract address so i'll put it there hero five so i click on import so the same warning comes up and i click on import so this video is all encompassing pancake swap have actually made everything very easy you can easily swap one token for the other okay that is essentially what pancake swap is all about so swapping means you are buying a token you already have for a token that you don't have so the token you already have is at the top and the token you don't have is below so before you can use pancake swap make sure you have some amount of bnb in your wallet because bnb will be used as the fees so for all bsc transaction bnb is used as the fees for all ethereum transaction ether is used as the fees so take note so we go ahead to click on max because i want to swap everything the maximum amount because this is the first time i'm swapping this token it asks me to enable intimate so i had to what enable it so it's a smart contract call i have to do what approve 
I noticed that there's a fit to that. That is the essence why you have to have BNB in your balance. So it goes like that. And if you notice, the total amount of hero file that I'll be getting is 559 for this transaction. And it shows what? Approved. Okay. So the transaction we just carried out was approved. So we'll go ahead to hit on swap. Why we have to go through this two step is because this is the first time. If we eventually want to swap this hero egg one more time, we will not have to enable the transaction again. So you go ahead to hit on what? Swap. So I'm going to swap this now and I confirm swap. So you notice in this interface it shows output is estimated. You will receive at least this amount of hero egg or the transaction will re revert. So there are other things to also take into consideration like the slippage settings and all that. But here we just work with what we have to work with. So the price is changing, so you have to be very fast. Okay, so I click on confirm. So waiting for confirmation. So the transaction cannot succeed to error. So once you get this error, what you need to do is to increase your slippage. So to increase your slippage or to work on your slippage, you click these settings. Alright, so I click on the settings and it uh, brings this out for me. So we increase slippage to 12%. So you keep on increasing slippage until it goes through. Some of these transactions actually require a higher slippage. So for any token that I want to swap and it doesn't go through, what I advise you to do is to increase the slippage. Alright, so most projects actually has a particular slippage that you have to set it to before it goes through. So I've increased our slippage in this case to what? 18. So let's try again. So increase, so increase this to max. So click on swap, confirm swap. So it goes through, okay? Notice we had issue swapping initially because the slippage was low. And we go through the process and hit close. So if it's successful, you see a success message here. So transaction received, so it has gone through. So that is how to swap any token at all in PancakeSwap. It's very, very easy and straightforward. In subsequent videos, we'll be showing you how to navigate the PancakeSwap interface. Then we might also check other swaps such as the Uniswap interface, they basically work the same way. If you found value in this video, go ahead to subscribe to our channel. Go ahead to like, go ahead to share this video. If you have any question, don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section below. Remember to trade responsibly. Peace out.